Four o'clock Friday. It's hey, no, you're wrong. It's not Friday. We're, we're, wait a minute. What a time warp. It's Monday, people. We're working the weekends. Everybody's working for the weekend. You got to make up for the Friday show on front Monday. So Friday show it is. Phil, welcome to the Phil and John Zone. Meeting number. John, welcome to the Phil and John Zone. Uh, week number sixty-two. I just barely made it, but I made. It. I'm here, and I don't feel too bad. So. That's hot. Damn, that's hot. Is it? Yeah, the light. The light bulb, very hot. Yeah, certain light bulbs. Yeah, I found out this little bulb here. Yeah. But the LED lights, you know, they don't really put out enough power to display. No, I know my desk lamp. I have. Um, I had to put a regular light bulb in it because it was, um, it was trying to. I'm having soda pops, so here's to not drinking too hard on Monday night, Phil. How about no, that? No, I'm having a uh, white claw. That's it. Okay, yeah, I have to have a bottle of beer here for a minute. Nah. Get around to the news and whatnot. But I'll... No, I'll, I'll save that. I had a, had a, a few this weekend at a great festival. So uh, little stock, and little stock, up in uh, Manawa, Wisconsin. Uh, uh, I want to thank Randy Dan Grant and his family, who had on his family farm for three days. We were there. Just got back yesterday. Um. We had a really short show on Friday. Yeah. Really I, I, um, Jeffrey came in. Jeffrey Blackbond came in from Vicelli. He played a couple songs. I played a couple songs. And then we shut her down. That was about it. Yeah, I, I can't get. I uh, couldn't get Zoom. No. Tried different aspects of it. We were not that far. I mean, four hours from here. Ooh, wee, what the heck is that? Hey, there's my name. That's my name on there, John. Is that another poster? For you, bud. Phil's records. Wow, that's pretty cool, John. 2021. Scooby and Woodstock. So beautiful. It's funny, Laura had mentioned this weekend, did you bring your posters? I said, I'm out. Yeah. Thank you, John. I'll talk to you about that. That's fantastic. So look to get them. Uh, For this weekend. Yeah, that's this weekend. <laughs> when are you going, John? Friday morning. Friday morning, okay, I have to... Uh, it's lunch time, but we're welcome anytime we want to get there in the morning. It's time to come in. You know. Okay, what do I do at the gate? Just say you? Yeah, just say your Phil's records, and he'll be there before you. I'll probably get there early. Yeah, um, yeah, got to talk to Tommy. Um, yeah, the Steingraber Farm uh, three-day festival. He, I met this gentleman, uh, great family. I, you, I can't explain. Uh, just It's farm people, and uh, I love Wisconsin farm people. I like fire people. It looked nice. It looked like a nice, um, nice, nice crowd by the end of the evening. Showed up and it looked kind of quiet at first. Uh, not quite as quiet as you are right now, though. Is that you're frozen on us? It looks like apparently. Welcome back to the Phil and John Zone. Like you said, it's July twelfth, Monday, July twelfth. This is the the July 9th show. Uh, a little late because we had to work last weekend and um. Phyllis, 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 Phyllis. Let's put you in the waiting room and then read. Maybe, maybe he'll come in bright this time. But we're gonna try to get him back here in a second. He is he's living in a cold, cold zone there. Um, and sometimes I think it's his basement. Somebody probably upstairs probably logged. Probably to, Laura logged in to watch the show, and then when she logged in to watch the show, Phil disappeared. Now he's gone. Phil, click a button again. He took his car. He took his computer to Best Buy to get it fixed by the Geek Squad, and it was just a button that he had to push. But he pushed it, and it became um, it became the solution to his problem. It was just a button. But now we're gonna see if he comes back or not. It's tricky having this show, and it's Monday. It's probably, you know, neither one of us are on our best game. Um, I didn't sleep good last night. He had a long, a long Monday. It's what Mondays are. Mondays are long. There's no such thing as a short Monday. I don't think that exists. It's gonna be a long Monday. And Phil, will he, will he return? He's probably not getting his five records, folks. He's gonna get his five records and we're gonna come back and who knows what the show will be like tonight. He said he didn't have a 
whole lot of energy to talk to the world tonight, but um, I got him online anyway. Because Phil. Yeah, while we're waiting here, let's put out something here for everybody to check out. Um, I know I got something in here that'd be interesting. Oh, oops. <laughs> Let's see what we got here. All right, we'll wait for Phil. Let's see if I can't pull up something here. Man, I'll tell you what, he is just on top of his game tonight. And it's Phil, I think. Phil, are you back? Hello? Hey, buddy, what's happening? Quit touching buttons. And I, I don't know what happens. I really don't. That time you just froze. I know. I I can't tell if people are, can hear me or whatever, but all of a sudden you freeze. Yeah. I, I ain't touching nothing, believe me. Anyway, are we back? We're back. We're live. I, I tried to entertain them the whole time you were gone. I was going to put a What were you doing? Playing the ukulele or something? I was going to put a music video on, but you got back just in time for them not to have to watch a music video. What were you doing? Skateboarding? No, I'm just wondering what was, so you got Little Stock. Yeah, that was, uh, I'm going to talk, talk about a few bands that was Stein Graber family. Three days, really cool. The only reason uh, I, I've never been before, I met him at uh, Down on the Farm a few years back. And, and he wanted me to do his festival called Little Stock. Anyway, um, that's where Horseshoes and Hand Grenades got their start up in that neck of the woods in Wisconsin. Um, and Randy and his family had mentioned, you know, been there, their ponds and just their, their, the local bars and stuff. So it was really cool and eclectic. And I, and, uh, big shout outs to feed the dog was there. They played a late night set and they had to play at picking on picnic. The next, so nice eight hour ride, uh, dig deep. Long way. Yeah. Big time. It, you know, midnight and they had to play at three in the afternoon. Um, Deliver Killers, if you've ever seen them, uh, I'll talk about them a little bit some more. And just some more great bands from country to uh, um, just country and a little eclectic, but a lot of country and great music. Um, got some uh, Pigeon Pussy, hand -picked, that, that... hand picked bluegrass, uh, um, some nice. great musicians. Um, realized I knew a lot of people or recognized and knew. A lot of people in bands weren't the regular bands, like a couple of people from Sloppy Joe, a band. They didn't, but um, Stephanie played with uh, Burn Toast and Jam, which was phenomenal. And uh, Feed the Dog is always killer. They've been a shoe fest. Um, we'll see them at Blue Ox. Uh, Dig Deep was there, they'll be at Blue Ox. Uh, yeah, so great time this past weekend. Nice. We have Frankfurt all the time. Cause I'll I'll never I'll never be back. Uh, Otherwise, uh, I'll drag your ass up there. We'll go if it wasn't. And normally, we always have Frank on. We go to the Fourth of July. They're about close to it. And no, it wasn't even the Fourth of July. To the weekend after the Fourth, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Time slide. What What did you do this past weekend? Nothing. Took it easy. Went around the house, watched movies. We spent all day Friday and Saturday just kind of hanging out around here. Uh, didn't do too much actually. And then yesterday, I think we watched two movies yesterday. We just took it easy. All weekend, weekend off, you know. I worked all week last week and then took this weekend off pretty much. And then I painted all day yesterday, so I guess I can't really say I took the day off. The painted yeah, all day I'm, me yesterday. Yeah, I can't wait to, uh, after the show, make a nice dinner and now watch a whole movie. And I've been watching a little bit of something, R&R, &R, but doing painting and stuff. But uh, doing a um, couple albums for Scramble Campbell, John. Uh, Laura and Nancy are going to Red Rocks Wednesday morning, so I'm doing a couple Scramble Campbell albums. And they're going to hand deliver it to him. So very cool. Yeah, very cool. I talked to him just this week a little bit about stuff he'd been working on. Right now, he did a, a leftover salmon show and a blues traveler show and a, a sprites for panic show. And yeah, they're going to see uh, Camp and T Trampled by Turtles. Trampled by Turtles, very good, very good band. Yeah. Are um, you going to? Uh, you bringing Scooby this weekend? I think so. All, all things uh, considered, I'm kind of watching the weather. Most likely, yeah. 
If it's a if it's a hurricane for three days, uh, <laughs> she's had to see it happen. You know, they, they well, I'm not and, gonna risk all that. No, I mean it doesn't look. Rain, but, um, it's kind yeah. of I mean, scattered. Yeah, like for when we went up to Wisconsin, the Monday forecast for up there was rain for most of the time and cold. So paired with rain boots, I you know, and rain gear, get up there. <laughs> There's blue skies and 80 and perfect out. The whole, not one drop. It was just absolutely gorgeous. Yeah, I'll come so, prepared for um, I'll come prepared for weather and see what happens. Yeah. Need our rain boots. Uh, bring a Chester. I have no option. We're pretty much the same boat. That yeah, so will we'll dictate things. I'll have Scooby with me for sure. It's gonna be fun. Mm-hmm. Like it was basically needs to bring. Yep. Yeah. But, I don't suppose you did five records tonight, did you? Uh-oh, connection is unstable. Don't touch anything. Oh, of, course do. unstable of, course, of course I do. <laughs> can, I, can I do a CD I got this weekend? Or two? You think you just no, did that's not an album. I got five albums. Yeah, they're right here. So you CDs have a CD. I wish you had to hold it close to the camera. No, nah, CDs don't work. Because I got a trillion of those, too. But, uh, no, I got tons of albums more. Kind of just was quick. But I got one of the bands this weekend... Uh, gave me an album, and it's one of my <laughs> great band. Uh, and they had vinyl, which is very expensive for bands to do nowadays. I understand that, but it was really cool. And you'll you'll see it in the fifth album of my five, and you're gonna what? Who's the artist? Okay. All right, all right, all right. All right, you're up. If you want, you want to do it now or? Yeah, like I gotta find a to Do we have any guests tonight? <laughs> no. We got five records though. I record no guests. I figured it would just be me and you tonight, Phil, Monday night. Oh, there they are. I'm gonna tell you. I'm gonna tell you right now. This um, Friday, Monday switching. I'm gonna wake up tomorrow morning and think it's the weekend. And I'm gonna be all discombobulated, man. That's yeah, gonna be the next three days to work and ready for a weekend anyway. Yeah, um, we're gonna leave Friday morning. I gotta talk to Tommy. Hey, Tommy Harmon, uh, I'll write you tomorrow, you knucklehead. I'm there yesterday, online, so I get to see him online. Okay. He knows he's going. We're go- okay, anyway. Um, you want to go first? I'll get it in a minute. Uh, hold on. Wait, hold on. Exactly a minute. Minute by minute by the Duke Brothers. Oh, ha, ha, ha. funny, funny, funny. So Michael McDonald came in the scene there, just a crossover between the old Duke Brothers and the new Duke Brothers. And somebody did a number six on here, so I don't know if it meant it was out number six that week or if it was it's in the playlist or – Play this yeah. album. I get a lot of albums that um, are collector or you know whatever uh, keepers you know keep whatever uh, record stores whatever um, a lot of them tag them right on them you know it was like your old baseball cards I guess uh, you put them in your spokes you glued them against your wall you did think you didn't realize so there's a lot of stickers like that and yep got that one uh, big fatty <laughs> big fatty big fatty um, uh, in Wisconsin, it's not legal, and hardly, and you saw n- really nobody in public doing it. It was just yeah. quite amazing. I felt, I mean, I was, yeah. And another thing, I had a great setup, right, no, perfect. They set me up. You're right by the stage. Unbelievable. And other vendors and people have been there before. I get, we got there. So, and Randy, thank you, Randy and Randy. Yeah, it was right there, right there. Okay, right, anyway. so what we're doing tomorrow, I got there first last year. Until I got there first, I got to declare where I wanted to be. And they had me right in front of the PA, and I moved myself. So it's a little bit further away from the speaker. Big, big difference, you know. So I'll get a good spot for this on Friday. Yeah, and remember rain. Just remember, we'll talk through the week. Yeah, I'm just watching forecast all the time. I know. Um, did you do, uh, did you write the Joliet uh, prison show? No, I haven't written yet. Hey, come on. Right, man, after the show tonight. The bash... Bash at the Big House. Bash at the August seventh, Cody's birthday. Farmer in the Field Notes will be there. Big Log, I can never say that right. Big Log wouldn't not. Alex Bash Offer. Bash and, Bash. Yep, Big Bash. August seventh, eleven thirty in the morning to eleven at night. Food vendors. El- Phil will be there. John Griffin hopefully will be there. It's a prison courtyard. And Julia, the old, yeah. the old one where. Uh, the Blues Brothers. Yeah, where Elliot, Elliot picked up Jake. Yep. Mm-hmm. Great movie. I don't That's think we have it. That'd be a good one to watch tonight. 
Did you show yeah, record? Okay, this one. Um, I just brought the stormy weather. Um, you know the mood music, and then you get albums like that. But the the musicians who play on it are classically, you know, they're studio guys. So the just always think of the musicians who don't get. You just hear them, but they're classically talented. And if you look through them, I can go through it. There's, you know, there's good people, not good people, some recognizable. It's, yeah. it's just not pressing buttons. War. War. Deliver the word. Um, great pictures, great photographs, old photographs of guys from War. Great band. This really doesn't have either the hit top, doesn't have Lowrider on it, doesn't have, um, doesn't have Why Can't We Be Friends, it has Me and My Baby Brother. Deliver the word. My dad always had the records. It seems like he always bought the records that didn't have the hits on them for some reason. My dad always had a weird off record. This is one that he had when I was a kid, but it didn't have the hits on it. So, you know, it was the other, the other songs that never really got released. Still jam. Cool printing, too. Internet connection is unstable. Still look good. Mm -hmm. Very cool. Uh, do you know the um, story behind that John Denver album behind you? Greatest Hits album? Yeah. I don't know if there's a story about it, but there's... Um, you want to hear the story? Yeah, I like John Denver stories. I paint records, right? Yeah. People ask me how I got started. I'm sitting painting wood. I was just doing birdhouses. Really was not even venting, but sort of was on wood. Wood signs. Uh, doing wood wood pieces one of my first pieces number six of all time just with bands and i was listening to turntable and another album and i had john denver album right next to me and i spilled paint on the floor and i stepped on the album and i go wow that's cool it was that john denver album. It was pretty, cool. pretty cool i brought up that story twice this past weekend how did you do that eh, by accident Roots, so, people still buy um i guess what your turn my turn uh, uh, my turn okay no it's my turn you got how many got, i got four left i got okay. left. yes your turn okay ramsey lewis no, they played him on xrt earlier and out of chicago great jazz great stuff great covers seeing him at the jazz festival probably four or five times six times like 20 years ago and just a great uh I saw him up really close, and it was just my dog. I forgot who that is, but there's the bands he played with. If you if you ever been to Chicago Petrillo Band Show back in the day, the Jazz Festival and Blues Festival was fantastic. You've probably seen me there when I was younger. Okay, you're up, John. <laughs> oh, don't do that. Don't that you got me. Don't do that. Here about some Peter Paul and Mary in the wind. I got a cheesy picture of Peter Paul and Mary. What an odd. An odd coupling of people. You don't see that very often anymore. Two males and a sing and a female singer doing like a chorus product, project, you know, the Peter Paul and Mary project. Um, that doesn't really exist anymore in our culture. Like that that type of production. I don't think. I mean, you think about like people sit in with other people. Like you'll say like it'll be featuring Mary J. Blige or something like that. But they don't have like a there's no there's not a, maybe it exists in like the the church culture and like the underground Christian uh, folk Could culture. Be. You know. You just don't see a lot of a lot of folk singing type acts anymore with multiple singers. So Peter Paul and Mary, another Warner Brothers. You had a Warner Brothers earlier with the WB on there. And Bugs Bunny. Um, I, there was quite a few women singers this past weekend at Little Stock. Uh, very impressive. And the Pat Wiley band, um, Ryan Thompson and Tom Lane were really good. Uh, yeah, just Eddie Beeble. Anybody heard of Eddie Beeble before? Anyway, and everybody talked about festivals. Why don't you, you we, see me or whatever? You know, they really uh, dug the art. It, it, it was nice. Um, but Mo Lake, because we're up there. Mo Lake, Mo Lake, Mo Lake. Hartford, John Hartford played there, John. You know all that stuff about Mo Lake? <laughs> I know about Mo Lake. Yeah, I, I, uh, I really didn't know, but that's all people talked about. There's a bootleg that goes around. It's a John Hartford bootleg from Mo Lake that everybody runs. Yeah. Like. Um, yeah, I didn't realize the history of it. And wow, I sure am. Don't know my music very well. Back in, the day, back in the day, like beginning of all that music, there was they were playing everywhere. They played in Decatur. They played anywhere there was a place to play. They played there. Oh, yeah. You didn't think about what town you're going to. You just went and played everywhere. And um, so yeah, Mo Lake. I've been there myself, but that's right around the area where you're at, huh? 
No, no, but all the people talked about, how, you know, hey, uh, why didn't you come here? You should go here. And I'd explain. I'm surprised I can still talk. And I'm re really surprised this, this month, just talking to people. And it was it was the same thing, John. You know how people always come by and, yeah, and, and new people. And and most vendors didn't have lights in the farm. And my neighbors supplied generators because we were in a farm. It was just – and I'd never seen a breakfast as big as the one we had Sunday before he left and then they had gospel after that it was just the every goody of a farm and oh man some some bands just come out and there was automatically a super band they didn't have to like it seemed like they had to have to work for it or like just release an album and you have a million hits and this band right here is one of those bands Let's see if you can guess who they are by looking at the pictures on the inside of the album here elo no oh, close oh. I can't time period perhaps, but yeah, but, um, yeah I can't see it otherwise I'd get it. Together an album, put out an album. Oh, hey, hey! And, um, you really just release an album and you're a super group and you're automatically like this odd, awesome super group. And you wonder how much like people would bought the album because the cool artwork, and then they listen to it later. You know, I think it's I think it's awesome. That folds out double double open album plus this great picture on the inside of dude getting singing and be like, yeah, man. Hooked on a feeling, Boston. That's not their song. You know what I mean? Oh, what a feeling was it called? Oh, what a feeling. Or don't look back. The journey, it's easy. The man, I'll never know. We... And this doesn't even have their hits on it. This is the non-hit album again. This is not the Boston Boston album that has. No, it's not the Boston. Tracks. This is like the second album. So by this time they were already a super group. That's why the photo took them. I guess. I was I always have an album on my easels. I got two easels. So, so you have right? And you see the city, mm -hmm. see the guitar. Mm -hmm. It's like a spaceship. Yep. Whole thing's a guitar. Yep. And if you don't look at it real close, it takes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. oh, cool. I love Boston. They recorded rec recorded that uh, first album with more than a feeling and all their big hits, which was quite a few. I do believe in the studio of Tom Scholz, the uh, lead guy, real tall guy. I do believe that. Uh, my facts are, but I do believe they recorded it like in their basement. And uh, okay, and the second album, you've never heard any of the songs on that album. Like, if you look, if you read the look at those songs, the titles, nothing. Then, what the hell did you pick that one for? Cool art, man. I know, yeah, you know, I gotta go. Um, I love comedy albums. Uh, Richard oh. Pryor, outrageous. Love the uh, Richard Pryor, fantastic. 422, 422, two minutes late. Stunner move, 422. I quit. We you should need, you should too. No more smoking. All right. We shared this one recently. Yeah, I didn't quit. I like the artwork. There again, outer space theme. Yeah, what? Air supply? <laughs> <laughs> I, I proudly do not own any air supply albums. I, I can tell you that right now. Unless there's well, some. I guarantee you, I got about 20 of them. Doesn't mean, yeah, I have probably 20. You want another milk rate? Yeah. Journey. Uh, about the milk crate thing. The, the, <laughs> hey, that's been a problem for me all week. I just went downstairs to get something. And I brought three more that are um, just amazing. One's called Havana at 2 a.m. So I think it's just a recording of Havana at 2 a.m. Or that's the name of the album. I'm going to jam it. It's going to be so good. So you're addicted to milk crates now? This, these records are in good condition, most of them, Phil. And about 80% of them are pretty weak, but. What else is in here? Well, what am I supposed to do with it? The Ventures. I know. I know. The Ventures. It's a good album, man. Johnny, Johnny, That's you don't understand. So the more albums I get from you, I just slide these in the albums I got from you. Look, you can see my screen in the album. Yeah, yeah, you can. Say hi to yourself, Phil. Phil. And this last one is. I have so. And check out this last one in, in there. It's on Wonderland Records, and the title of the album is Alley Cat and Chicken Fat. I don't have that one. I want that one back now. And the other fun dances. Oh, dude, you can't have them back. Once they're in the house, they're mine. No, I don't know do with both of them. Of course There's I know. Some Blue Note albums in there, some old jazz recordings. We're so yep. good. Do you have one more album, or are we all done? No, I got two more. Uh-oh. All right. We'll okay, um, we're going to go with the great artwork, um, and... I like his artwork, and if you, can you name it, John? He's a famous artist. The artist who made the artwork? Is it Rob? Yeah, he did all that artwork. Uh, no, 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 no. 
All right, uh, there's the band. You did the cover too. You did that. That in the back one. Uh, Leroy Neiman. Leroy Neiman. That's cool. I don't know the artist. I was really impressed by his. Fifth yeah. Dimension. All right, you got one more. Uh, the Fifth Dimension is that I already showed five records. I must. Have All right, I got one more. Okay. So you you okay. This is the band I saw this week uh, weekend. Uh, they played two sets. I don't know how to explain their music. Uh, they're really, 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 really good. I do believe they, yeah. Um, they got to play in Illinois. They play a lot. He's in uh, uh, three or four bands. But I love the cover. They're called Liver Killers. Really dig their stuff. Johnny, look at that. Gobble, gobble, gobble. The Liver Killers. Uh, you know, I got to Yeah. Uh, they're edgy, country, punky. You have horn section? Harmonizing with six cats. I don't know. All I can say is check out the liver kills. If, if anybody has, you tell me. All right, that's five records. Peace. Five records. Phil John's on week 62. With those cat folks, is it, is it week 62? Uh, Jeffrey, Jeffrey Blackmon can know, but doing all these half shows and part shows and double shows. Oh, Jeffrey, Jeffrey's watching again. He's watching all the time. Jeffrey, oh, yeah. Jeffrey you got... You got a Phil and John's own problem, my friend. I will send you help. Jeffrey bought the sticker today. He bought stickers from me today to support the sticker campaign for us. So we're going to have our um, stickers. And um, the stickers will be out in a week or two. I'll get, I'll get them in the mail. And um, there's Scooby. Appearance by Scooby. You heard that rooster. And I'm excited to watch. I'll do it again. Scooby. Scooby, are you going to see chest? Scoobs. Scooby. Scooby. Gonna be anti There's Chester right here. When when I um, yell Scooby's name out right in front of Chester, well, not yell. Um, Chester knows. You know, Luca and and uh, yeah. After that, a couple days of Chester was there at the festival for three days. Uh, thank God the weather was great, but it's long days. Yeah. Um, but had a blast. A lot of dogs had to be on a leash, but just I don't know. I'll keep Scooby on leash. I'd probably just do that good if it's raining. I wonder if there's somewhere local we could buy a bale of hay. And now you froze up again. It's condition. It's condition. Uh, I'm going to get him back. And I'm just going to share the screen with the music anyway, so he won't be able to even see it. When he comes back, he'll be like, what happened to everything? It's gone. And I'll be like, well, because you disappeared, so I had to do intermission. Frozen Scoobies. Because there's a lot of instruments, there's a lot of things to There is, but you know, we were sitting there talking all that time. All like, those pains are gone. I'm ready to go. Ready to continue to entertain as I can. Makes sense. Well, they won't play no train songs on the radio. No, no. Folks say it's too old fashioned, too easy to ignore. I guess they're just not listening to the travel out in time. Steam booking up with the drums, spinning out the train on down the line. The train on down the line. Train song, train song, don't take me to waste. Sixteen boxcars, one for blues, one wagon, a load of coal. 
This old Jenny, she talks a lot, and she breaks so down and goes. She's a great fly, so I'm going to get on just fine. I give up my box, I don't know my life. I'm going to get on back in the room. I'm going to get on back in the room. I'm not gonna be bothered with someone else playing, I'm freaking out. Now they're taking me away, so I feel that I'll pass for us here. It's okay, it's not. I think maybe it's where you're sitting, man. No. I've been on outside in the backyard and does the same thing, I think. Well, not I think, I know it does. I, I'm not touching nothing. Every two, time you look down and hit a button, you yeah, you just don't. I have no. I am so bad, and I don't understand. But yeah. hello, everybody again. This is so number seventy four. <laughs> We're back. Login number seventy four. What's that? Login number seventy four for sure. Okay. Well, we got one way traffic coming up uh, this weekend. Uh, the Old Salt Trio. Uh, Stone Sugar Shakedown. Um, I got a bunch of Grateful Dead stuff I'm working on. Hopefully, I can get it done. Uh, my mushroom, the mushrooms one I did that. I, people are dig that man. Yeah, I like mushrooms. People do mushrooms. Yeah, but the morels, just the ones that with no lettering, no bands on it. You know, just plain art. <laughs> I, was, I was really surprised and happy. But anyway. Um, so a lot of work and continuous work, and then a couple weeks off. But there's so much music in the area. Did anybody see Sunbeard uh, local uh, four minutes from my house? But we were in Wisconsin. I, we wanted to change that for the world. Uh, three days of music. Give me a fest anytime, but I'll see Sunbeard soon. Hope Matt and boys and Janice had a great show. Um, a lot of shows coming up. Uh, we just had... Uh, uh, we have the venue in the roundhouse. I showed you when you were over here, John. Five minutes from my house. And uh, maybe put in a show or two. Uh, after this week coming up, then a couple weeks off before we hit uh, August, which is going to be a super, super busy month and September. And it looks like October, too. <laughs> I mean, I'm looking at the schedule right here, John, and you're going, you know. There's uh, a couple in Wisconsin. Uh, Weissfest. Well, we keep, I don't know why I keep talking about this. Is when it's fest and uh, um, why don't you talk about it? Because you know, people want people to know that what you're doing what you're going to be, where you can find your art, where you're going to, you know, where you're going to be showed up. Where we go, people enjoy seeing the stuff we do. I think somebody, Colin O'Brien, said for my party, he said he, he used us <laughs> uh, for at the event. That means the event's pretty cool. So, yeah, I've heard that a few times, and uh, I couldn't. Um, it, you know, if I could blush, uh, how many times uh, the owner and people just, um, had heard of me? And you know how many people uh, uh, have heard of our show and watched our show? I have no clue of from up in Wisconsin through uh, Adam Gruel, through uh, Barron's, you know, fans of so-and-so. And then it came to this. Aaron That's Donner. what it's about. Because um, that was horseshoes and hand grenades territory. I mean, I heard 10 stories. Adam, if you're watching, you guys are probably not. I'll see you guys at Blue Ox. Uh, and a lot of people... Uh, well, our, we might get a, uh, a lot of people will be seeing it, uh, turn them on to new festivals. and uh, Those guys are still checking in somewhere out there. Yeah, um, but uh, that's what it's kind of about. Uh, goofiness sometimes, but uh, relaying messages of good music. And, uh, and you know, and, uh, and there's a lot more. Um, Remember how when you were younger, how you found out about a concert? When you, were, when you were a teenager, how'd you find out about something you, you hear on the radio or you had to hear somebody talking about it? Or yeah, There was no internet or Phil and John Zone back then that people could know about music. What'd you do before that while well, technology came along? I was an altar boy and a priest. I jumped out of the uh, church at 25, John. Don't you know me? Gosh, I've heard so many stories about you, Phil, that I could write a book about what I heard you tell me. Mm -hmm. Most of it I can't repeat. Yeah, Most of it no I can't repeat. No, concerts were huge, and I'm looking at some old, well, unfortunately for us, um, but the concert tickets, you know, six, seven, ten bucks. Wow. Yeah. Not ten times all that. Yeah, I mean, I'm being at festivals, a couple, um, being at a three-day festival and making camp and uh, making it a beautiful thing, it's, you know, it's, it's if that's what we like doing, uh, 
Yeah, I guess I should uh, a disclaimer. Jim Fisher asked what we were doing online right now because it's not Friday, he thinks, and it's not banned. So, Jim Fisher, the reason they, they were online is because we had a we work this weekend, and one of us well, one of us worked, so we couldn't do our show on Friday. That show didn't work out so well. If there's a good little small show from Friday, I'd play a few songs on. But um, so we get together on Monday and we declare it International Friday Monday, and we start our weekend over again. And then by the time the weekend is over again, so like it's Friday today, then tomorrow Saturday, then Sunday, then Monday is Thursday, and then you go directly from Monday back into Friday again. It's the best way to live. John, you're supposed to just paint the mushrooms, not eat them. I have no clue what the heck you just said. There's a lot of different days in there. I'm just saying, making Monday into a Friday is a good idea. Sort of, yeah. When we're Thursday yeah. becomes a Monday. Yeah, we'll probably have a Friday and Saturday show, weather permitting. Yeah, sure. Right. I think it makes sense. You have to yeah, wonder. Another uh, CD from uh, Feed the Dog. Ding Dang. God, are they good. They're really good. That's my sixth or seventh time. There's And I, I, look, I go, they can't be that good again. Yeah, that's one of them. That's good. We saw him at, at Chew Fest. They were really good. I love his freezes are the best. I didn't touch anything this time, people. I didn't look down at the computer screen. I didn't look up. I said, I put my smoke out there and he just froze. Um, this is the night of the freeze. This is the frozen night. I wonder if there's, um, if Laura's got too many things pulling on the internet in the other part of the house. I doubt it. I said it's going to work that way. But the idea is funny that, um, his freezes are great. That's a great freeze. I'm going to capture a screen capture of that because I think that's pretty fun to see. And that might become our new image for next week's thing. You know, the thing is about this show, it's just for fun. And we're just having a good time. And um, there we go. I'll keep that one. Hey, you look good, Phil. You look real good, buddy. Oh, just we muted him and he went out of the room again. So what we're going to do is we're going we're gonna to miss him. Whenever Phil leaves the room, we're just going to intermiss and we're going to, we're going to, we're going to. See what else we got here like scheduled it, uh, around the box. It's a new here. song, a fairly new song from my good friend Edward David Anderson. I put his link in the table, folks. <laughs> Handshakes and hugs, what I'm thinking of. There's when we didn't have to give a damn. Like the MTV of uh, John's own How I miss cool my videos. friends, but someday we'll meet again. There'll be handshakes and hugs going round. Makes like our own radio station, man. Right? Handshakes and hugs. What I'm dreaming of Sweaty room with music in the air Or the band plays fast and loud It feels good to be in a crowd With all those handshakes and hugs going round Handshakes and hugs Two things that I love it's been so hard to be a hold up here at home. We're not supposed to be alone. We're singing to the phone. I miss those handshakes and hugs coming round. All right. Time we had Edward David Anderson on our show performing his new song and release at this time. So, so that, um, the man, the boss is back, so let's be back to the show here and see what he has to say about what happened that time. I didn't touch anything. I I might have looked down like this, but I was putting down my smoke. And it I, says unstable all of a sudden it shuts down. I got to restart it every time that happens. And, I, you know, the wires I can't touch. Maybe it is. So, are people going to see Billy Strings tonight? Is that like a it's just, you know, this week people are driving. Where's that at? Well, somebody just shared that they're going for the Billy, Billy, Billy something. I don't know. Billy uh -huh. something. You know, we Billy. get viewers from all over 
You know, we've had all of the United States. So I don't know where he's he's playing, but yeah, he's playing everywhere. Possibly traveling to see that musician this time. People are, I don't think can't go over the big concerts like that, but people get into them. They follow, they they chase around. Yeah, I'm getting, you know, um, showed shows the age a little bit. Um, not not a spring chicken the three day festival is kind of a kicker even doing being eating properly and just beautiful weather and you know and danced a little bit more than a little bit i did um you danced and that was a one-nighter that wasn't even an overnighter that was a three-nighter the uh, one you did last you week. know standing and talking you know where and you know drive and i'm no not complaining but yeah but i enjoy i'd rather do that than a one or just a one night for sure no way if I had my choice, believe me, I, I, but it's such a different vibe. Two to three I days. Like tearing down after midnight. What? I like tearing down and packing up after midnight. Get out of some place like we did last. Night. Oh no 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 no! Sorry, no. I like the event was great, but we next time we had to plan to sleep out there or something and, and clean up in the morning or something because that was a lot. Of yeah, work. And, and another good thing is um, being a vendor. I don't. Uh, we get to get in there early, and that's key you know if we can to set up um, uh, it makes it a little easier than walk carrying and walking what's going on at red rocks either tonight or tomorrow night is uh, billy kreutzman and billy and the kids with billy strings on guitar lead guitar so it's going to be an amazing amazing night of music full of gosh knows who's going to be out there playing on that stage um man and they're going to see camp who i never heard of until she said she was going and trampled by turtles all the way to colorado it's more of an adventure well, that's the I want to go out there. I want to go to that place one of these, one of these days. Yeah. Okay. I, 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 I mean, I've been to, went to the caverns, but the inside caverns were closed. But so they had it above ground for Mo, and we went in there and saw the in, inside. I have no inclination to go there. It just I heard the sounds good, but it's I just didn't. No. Scary. No, I'm not scared. Of, no, no, it just didn't throw me. I like the outdoor better. If they had a concert indoor, no, didn't let no, nothing. So I'm I'm no. So all our music tonight is brought to you by the Phil and John Zone. It's all pre-recorded stuff that happened on the Phil and John Zone. It's only going to be played when Phil freezes out and he goes away. So if he freezes, hey John, everybody gets a musical treat. And um, I mean, hey. Okay. Um. Yeah. Um. Hector Blue Ox. Yeah. We got to talk to Mr. Bubble. Jim Fisher does not like trampled by turtles. That's not the opinion of this station. That's just the Jim feel. <laughs> never, never seen trampled by turtles. Um, I've done artwork for him a couple times. I use the teenage, teenage turtles lettering. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. they're turtles, but I don't know if they got they got the joke or not. I don't know. You know, it's kind of hard to tell. You know, but so big tomorrow's a big day because to, what's tomorrow? Tomorrow's the All Star Game. Oh, baseball. that's oh, yeah. sports. Are you following that at all? Or you don't follow baseball as close as well, you Well, let me do my sports then. My sports I, It's a segue, man. Oh, I get it. But you're missing the home run derbies tonight. And, home and derby. Phillips got a few shillings on a player to hit to win. Phil should talk about sports for a minute. What do you think, Phil? You got a minute of sports to talk about? At least uh, the All Star Game coming it, up. It might be more than a one minute, so don't always say one minute. Scandal and the, the online betting scenario, and uh, take it away, Phil. <laughs> and don't ever say one minute. It could go longer. You remember that? Okay. Um. Yeah. What's going on, everybody? I know I have a timer on. Yeah, the All Star Game is tomorrow. Um. But. Uh, Home run hitting contest is tonight. Uh, no biggie, really. I mean, but that's all they're talking about. And uh, but anyway, uh, Joey Galloway's going to win, I think, the contest. I don't know why, but anyway, you know what's? Um, so they pitch easy pitches to him and then hit him. Yeah, start. just batting practice. But they're they're doing it in Colorado and uh, uh, two with the Ariston. But it doesn't matter. Just get it over the fence. But I'm picking Joey Galloway in the home run contest. Went through Milwaukee, uh, NBA Finals, Phoenix and Milwaukee. Milwaukee tied it up. Uh, the Ant is killer, if you know what I'm talking about. Milwaukee was hopping. We didn't go through downtown, but they had a lot of stuff. I like the Bucks kind of. Uh, Bobby Portis played for him uh, from Arkansas, but he played for the Bulls. The Cubs suck. 
Uh, they suck. Cardinals suck too. Cubs suck even worse. They're going to trade all their players coming up. The White Sox get their players coming back, and they're really good. White Sox, yeah, yep, 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 yep. Uh, yeah, I know what's coming up. Uh, my favorite time of the year, um, sort of. Uh, I like fall. I like the fall. Uh, I picked that. Um, but uh, football, uh, pro football training camp is going to start. College football basically is year-round nowadays. But, uh, yeah, I'm psyched for football and training camp coming up. And uh, all Packer fans up in Wisconsin, Little Stock, and when we start talking sports, are oh, you from Chicago? You're a Bear fan? I go, nope. I'm a Viking fan. What? Not cool. They didn't, they rather have me be, they don't like Vikings. Packer fans don't like Vikings. So, but I'm a diehard Viking fan. You're starting to look. Don't touch buttons. Otherwise, I'm going to get locked up. That's my sports segment. And uh, have a great Monday and uh, hope to see you all soon. This is uh, Ron Santo signing off. My favorite Cub player back in the day. Uh, who's Ron Santo? Third baseman for the Cubs, number 10. Longer than a minute, probably. I didn't. I didn't make After it. Moon Moon, they're gonna be at Shoe Fest. I haven't seen them. When's the last time they played? Five years? Probably at Shoe Fest five or six years ago. Yeah, I remember seeing them at Shoe Fest before they moved. They moved away, so it had to be close to that time period. Because it's been he's been gone for quite a few years. Uh huh. Festival is starting to happen. There's a lot in Wisconsin. There's a couple. There's a lot everywhere. I mean, just stately. And people are staying home to their fest local festivals instead of track because they don't have to. There's more popping up. Um, just from word of mouth from people. Um, uh, doing different like uh, what's one Pine Lakes coming up Moon Dance. Uh, there's a bunch of Wisconsin up in northern Wisconsin. Uh, great music. Um, but a lot, a lot of music everywhere. Well, I used to go there, but now I can just stay here and, you know, do that. Uh, it is going to be, you know what, it's going to be saturated and there's going to be, there's, there's two big events this weekend, at least. And we were going to that one in Alton, but there's another one that's happening over by Springfield. Um, it's the new, that new music grounds are by Yeah, camp. with Still Shine and uh, uh, Sunshine Daydream. Um, yeah. Same weekend? Same weekend, same crew as we worked for at the vineyard that time, kind of, you know, different okay. place. Yeah, I mean, see, that's going to knock this, yeah. But um, we'll be in Alton this weekend at the at the Cottage Hills VFW Halls, where the location is, I think is the name of the place. Um, do you have the address for that yet? What? Did you send you the address on for all that stuff? Did you, or are you just expecting me to help you get there? What place? Where we're going this weekend? Yeah. Happy Trails Music and Art Festival. Well, I just um, Google it. Yeah, I'm probably going to have to. I'll look more into it. But I look how, how far is it, though? I remember. I just looked at the weather. How far is it from you? For me, it's like two and a half hours south. Two hours. Two, it's that far south. It's not that far. Again, it's like an, it's like two hours maybe uh, southwest. That's five hours for me. Holy shit! You let me know how you feel. You know, it's just coming up. It's just week. Was... <laughs> Man, I was hoping right next to your house. <laughs> oh my thing! I was doing yeah. that. Yeah, what the heck, you know. Uh... Um, I've been working with that okay. guy. Okay. All right. All right. Um, okay. I'll get you. I'll get you exact location because it might not even be that far from you because you'll be mostly on the highway and I'll have to go on different roads. Don't there. give me no bullshit. You just try to smooth. <laughs> <laughs> might have like a fifteen minute advantage. <laughs> but I don't know, because you, you yeah, there's a lot of fuss. Hey, you have to, you got to do the research, bud, you know, I guess, I don't know. That'll be fun. We'll have a good time one way or another. I've already got a, you've already got a, um, I'm going to get your posters to you. And all the stickers won't be ready for a couple more weeks. Oh, dig this one. Cars loaded um, to go on the strip at Little Stock. And the car's packed and don't want to do that too many more times. We've got to get something. Anyway, uh, Lauren Chester in the house. So I'm going to check the tire, tire pressure. The first tire I checked, back left, I'm looking, open, take the knob off. I'm like, there's a screw sticking right out right next to it. I mean, this big. And I'm like, holy shit. So what do I do? I get a screwdriver right in the garage and twist it and take it out. And whoosh. Ah, I'm freaking. Ah, I'm freaking. Car's loaded. I'm going, I've got to go to just, you know, just tires. 
And by the you know, and I got I forget I got Chester in the car. Forgot to leave at home, so I went there. Well, it got fixed, but he said that's how you get blowouts because anything next to the valve, could that's yeah. how you get a blowout. It's not as bad because of good tire or newer uh, technology, but lucky as hell. He had to get a new tire, and uh, made it there safely. Well, check your tires on the travel. I, I, that's uh, unbelievable. But who who does? Who does? It's like when you go camping, especially when you go to Blue Ox, because there's you camp in woods. When you're camping, always look above for widow makers, especially older big trees, man. A little wind and a big branch falls on your tent. Be careful. At yeah. Blue Ox, when we were there, there was giant branch on ours, and we someone got lucky in our setup, but branches were everywhere. So always check. Yeah. Hope that the weather's nice. Don't have to worry about that. Yeah, I, I bet you in the next year you won't go out on a trip and check off where your tires. And neither will I. I lie late right. You're right. Yeah. yeah. I, I, next time I will, probably. The next time you will is when you get a flat tire. Oh, look at my tire. No, the next time I will, that's when I go someplace. Now you got me freaked out. Mm. What's the movie for tonight? Village, Village, BMW. Movie for tonight? I don't know. It's, um... well, I started watching Hannibal Lecter, but I didn't. I, I, I hate watching part of it, like doing things. I got to sit there or lay there and watch the whole thing and like have popcorn. But tonight I'm treating myself because. We watched a couple of them yesterday, two of them actually. Give me a minute. I'll try to remember what they were. What? I, I can't remember what they were now. We watched two whole movies yesterday. Um, you can't remember. Great. Oh, it was yesterday, man. Yeah. Johnny got to lay off that yeah, stuff. Man. Yeah. Mapping all day yesterday. As soon as the show's over, I'm Googling and uh, checking out that address, man. If it's like 24 hours away, man. <laughs> I don't want to Google it now. You know what? There is, there is uh, two people that came in, and, and there's helicopter, there's planes, you know, like crop dusters flying over the property here. And I'm happy to talk to this couple, and I'm like, they look like they, they came on, on a on a motorcycle, you know, the boots and goggles on, like John Hartford goggles. They flew in a plane the farm next door and landed and, and came to the festival. How cool is that? <laughs> I, 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 it was it was so cool. Yeah, no, we flew in over the, the plane. Oh, boy. How does she have a post? I mean, oh, okay. I got it written down, but I, I didn't look. I met him. If you, if you, yeah, maybe if you, you didn't know, you should just wait till Tom's there. You got the car loaded up before you even think about how far it's going to be. <laughs> Is it my I'm, not, I'm not driving, but the I, I'm not a terrible passenger. And especially if I've been in the backseat. No, I'll never do that again. Can't happen. But a passenger for five hours where someone else drives, you try that. Anyway. Sometimes you have to do that. No, I don't have to do that. Should have my own, yeah. Um, that's fine. No, it's 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 cool. I'm not I'm not harping on that. It's all good. I've done it before, and if he needs, I'll drive too. But he enjoys driving, so. Looks like Hopefully. it's about four hours from your house, man. For me. Or about four. For me. Yes, for you. Yeah. Okay. You know how far I'm going to be driving for to Eau Claire, Wisconsin? Man, that's going to be a ride. <laughs> You're right. <laughs> no, it's not. It's going to be like 12, 12 hours or so. For, to Eau Claire? No, it's not. Now you're, making, <laughs> now you're making me worry about that. Put it this way, John. If it was 12 hours, it's going to be worth it. If it was, it'd be worth it. It really would. If it was 12 hours for us. It, I, yeah. it's six hours and 12 minutes with tolls. Or How seven. Much? Hey, you better, did, did you do your eye pass? Thinking of eye pass, we forgot. We put ours in a glove box. What? I went and do it, and guess what? What? They, they were, I had no, there's no fees for my car. <laughs> <laughs> I checked both vehicles. Like, I got them both logged in, so like, if I get, if I go, I mean, and there's no toll. So I went through two toll booths in the last month or so and didn't get a toll. It's like, if they didn't see it or they don't, um, yeah, I don't know. So... Yeah, because we went through two, because we forgot to put ours. Ours was in the glove box, but 
just well, check no, and say, these to be seven. I don't think they give a damn anymore. The lights just flash on and off. And, you know, the COVID thing got everybody in the government all discombobbled. On the way but, home, dub, but double check, it's not funny. Yeah. We, we had because no, back in the day, they'll suspend your life. You get a pulled over, you know, get suspended license. You didn't pay your damn toll. Sometimes it's like a hundred bucks because of the fine. But I don't just want double that. check. I don't want that. No, it, it, they'll send me a letter, I guess. Four hours from Aurora to Cottage Hills, huh? Four hours and five minutes, yeah. But if five going... minutes. So you keep adding minutes now. Five minutes. Oh, wait. First it was four in. hours. Now it's four hours and five minutes. Before the show ends, it's going to be like four hours and fifty-nine minutes. Let's add oh, in uh, Tom Harmon getting ready and bring it up there and, and meet me at your house to load the car. Might be another hour and a half. Who's that? How, how far is Tom from you? To, is that who's taking you down there? If Tom wants to go. Oh, are you are you planning on driving by yourself? If not. What's your, no, no. I talk to. Yeah, I'll talk to Tom tomorrow. He knows what's going on. I'll let him be. No, I'll let is, him uh, relax. He should be watching. He knows Tom. Be ready. He should always be ready. He should be like a superhero. Like well, well shit. He hasn't done anything. I'm off to. I hope he's feeling well. And yeah, come over. You know what's going on. We've done this before. Yeah, I got your back. Um, he, he, I got your munchies. He posted up a few times. He's drinking I'll tell you light. what to bring. What ain't much, and uh, if you want to do it. He's drinking Bush Light. That's what I've been seeing. Yeah, Bush Light. It's Bush probably light. better for him than the big Stellar Trois and the, the the big bottles of whiskey and stuff, you know. But well, hopefully we can see him soon. Can't wait. They, they had the they had best farm food, man. I'm so hungry. I can't wait. All we right, have guys. Uh, for dinner tonight, Phil. Before we go, we should talk about dinner, I suppose. Dinner? I'm having a steak, man. I got good, 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 good steaks. I don't usually do that, but I, uh, yeah. Mm-hmm. And some butterfly shrimp that was on sale. I'm very frugal, but it still wasn't cheap. It's cheaper than going to Dan McDonald's for uh, two people and a dog. It was $27. What the F is that about? <laughs> Waste of money. <laughs> what the hell? I was saying, you spent $27 for two people and a dog at McDonald's? Yeah. How did you? What did you order? The, the super size everything or the? Oh, Burger the, King, Burger King, Burger King, Burger King. Yes. You know what it gets? Damn shake. Vanilla shake is like seventy five dollars. <laughs> anyway, a whole, a whole joke and pulp fiction. Cheaper, it's cheaper for the steaks and uh, shrimp than that. Yeah. Yeah, it is. I I had a steak recently. A lot cheaper. Anyway. Yeah. It was a good. It was a good weekend. Put it down, so I just I always have a good meal. Put that fast food. No more of that. Even on the um, way home to the festival, we gotta be careful. That's not good for us. We store some. But I'm having avocado and uh, salad from the garden with other salad from the garden. Fresh avocados were on sale today. I peeled potatoes. I didn't really help that much, but Amy's making like potato wedges and a salad in there. No, and I'm gonna have what was the other thing? I'm gonna need to make uh, curly onion rings with the. Uh, or, or what was it? Or, or the uh, ranch bacon uh, pasta salad? It's a huge dinner. It's like today and leftovers tomorrow. But I I like uh, cooking and looking forward to uh, making some food. Just looking at all the notes we have. Uh, get on the ball with uh, Liz McNeil from the Joliet Historical Society for the uh, the prison show. I call it the prison show. August seventh. It's right by me. You say it's in our messages because you already sent me information. Um, yeah, it's, uh, whatever. Um, where was it? Oh, the bash at the big house. Do some prison stuff with mushrooms on it. <laughs> you might just keep me there. I don't know if I need to go at the prison. You're not going to go? All right, fine. I ain't going this way. Where do I go? Yeah, it's on, it's on the list, man. It's on yeah. the list. Um, I know. Uh, it's a one-day thing. One of those one-day things we don't like. But. No, so I think it'll be a good one, though. You, one day. Oh, yeah, it's going to gonna be a good one. Pink um, and Floyd will be there. Oh, you're see it. oh man, not even work. Or just do a big live painting and not set up a booth. And I don't know. What kinds of ways I can approach it? What? Doing the show without doing a show. You know, like going to one of those shows, but just doing. You know. Well, you know how to do it. You can, yeah. Um, haven't heard anything from uh, um, Black Dirt or anything about uh, the Wilco farmer. Anything yeah. from anybody yet? <laughs> 
think I'm coming up. Sugar Creek that weekend. What's that? I think I'm probably doing Sugar Creek Fall Festival that weekend. You are okay. Yeah, because it's it's already on the thing. Jim Fisher, yeah. on Sunday night, man. He um, yeah, wow, <laughs> wow, Jim, that's dark. I don't know. I'm gonna read that on the air. Uh, <laughs> he doesn't like McDonald's <laughs> or falling tree branches. He's got reasons not to like falling tree branches. <laughs> I love McDonald. I mean, I love that, but it's it's once a week, and if that. Um, what do you um? What else should we do for the show tonight? You got more information, more material, or you think you want to get to cooking pretty soon? Because I'm thinking about going to get cooking pretty soon. Pretty week. We only been done the show. Done. We'll, we'll 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 hopefully do the show this weekend. Um, yeah, we could be done for you. It's five o'clock. It's been an hour. I am tired. There's a lot of driving. God, that traffic in Milwaukee. I don't like traffic. Period. I love the farmland. Um, yeah, I'm kind of beat. My voice is surprised. Actually, I took throat lozenges last night um, just from talking to people and talking and talking and repeating some of the stories. Um, good. That's good. It feels good to talk. Yeah, it's, it, it's, and it's funny how many people, almost 95%, well, it's, it's going less and less, is different bands, a lot of bands from up here um, um, that they never heard. What is that? What is that a band? You know, it's it's pretty funny leftover salmon what is that you know um, they didn't even know that some people um, uh, my, favorite, my favorite comment of all so far this summer was that woman that came into the booth that, that afternoon looked at my paintings we're at jason's place or Bill, or mike's place and she says oh is this tie-dye well, yeah 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 my paintings and asked if it was tie-dye and go, i kind of got excited when she said that it's like kind of a, a cool different um reaction to things you never know how people are going to what they're going to see or think you know yeah, I mean, probably 25% of the people when I have all my sides on, which I did, except for the front, don't see the back. They have no clue it's a record. You know, it's a circle. You know, I mean, there's a lot a lot of older people have no clue. And once they say that, oh, you see them smile and what's on the back? Oh, <laughs> bring smile. Oh, remember the days, honey? It was, yeah, it was a lot of older farmers during the day. Uh, so what's, the just, bird? what's the what? bird's name? What's the bird's name there behind you? You got a bird on your shoulder. Bird, yeah. yeah. No, the other side. They got a bear on that shoulder, this and then you one. got oh, down below. Oh. It's like a hawk with a bear shoulder. Oh, that's, does, uh, does that ever freak you out? No, nothing freaks me out. Unless you, uh, you, um, do two things that would freak me out. I don't like. I couldn't go underwater in a cave and go through tight things with scuba gear and a line. No, that I'm a little claustrophobic. Yeah, no, and yeah. I love animals, but I ain't going in the water and sticking my arm and fishing fucking with bait like that and whatever they call that <laughs> under rocks and coming up with a giant hell with that shit. <laughs> Besides that, nothing scary. I really wanted to stick my hand in a fish's mouth. That's okay. No thanks. There's no reason for nature for my hand to be in that fish's mouth. I don't see, you know, I'll survive without it. Um, I do enjoy a good fish fry anyway. Yeah. And crazy I, woman and crazy women who are drunk. Uh, you don't want that either. <laughs> this is the ABCs of things that are annoying to us. <laughs> no, no ABCs. You said no more ABCs. Yeah, we'll, maybe we'll bring it back in a couple of weeks. Yeah, we'll bring it back in a couple of weeks. We're going to come up with something. Can't do too much anymore. I don't have any guests tonight. We're just going to meet up, meet up on Friday. I'll, get, I'll talk to you like Thursday. I'll get to make sure you have the right address. Mm -hmm. Message me. You got my phone number, it seems like now, too. Uh huh. Yeah, back to work. I got to do some stuff. Well, I got not, not some stuff. Yeah, basically uh, uh, unpacked and getting ready to. Yeah, it's a lar large process. Three days. Um, and uh, get, to do too. get ready. I'm uh, doing some new things, finishing up. I'm looking at everything over there. Uh, got a lot of Grateful Dead stuff uh, with all sayings from uh, their top 20 saying, sometimes we live no particular way but our own or hang it up and see what tomorrow brings or what a long strange trip it's been or they're all they're sayings i can't believe you even have any of those left we don't think you even got those out last weekend because they're not done i mean i got Finish like them. when you've been here i got tons of stuff that's you know 95 percent done or eight ninety percent well it feels looking at over there from where he's sitting is this huge rack of all these albums that are partially started there's so many of them I'm blown away with this work in your studio, Phil. It's, it's ridiculous. You know, I tell you to pick up your computer and show them, but you probably might push that button again. And... Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, 
And I brought stuff up, up to Wisconsin from when I first started in 2015, 16, doing albums from old bands from a festival called Jam for Jam. And I haven't brought them anywhere. They weren't done again, but I finished them up three. And uh, hoping that a, some uh, one of the band members, Jesse Volkmer and uh, Shane Dar was one. The Raglanders was another. We wouldn't know that, but they played at a great festival, Jam for Jam, Craig Bauman's Fest. I brought them up there, and son of a bitch, if the band wasn't there, but like the best guy, the best, and a girl, their best, in a dick of fire. I never heard of, the, I see, heard of them, but they're the, like total friends, like best friends of the band. So I gave it to him. I said, give it to your friend who's in that band, and that's him and him. You know, a couple of them gave me, threw me a few bucks, but it was more to give to them from a long time ago that I finished up. So point is, I don't finish it, but it was, it made a lot of people smile. And a couple of days, I talked to too long, and I'm losing my voice. <clears throat> um, thanks, Phil. Yeah. So, the question of the night is going to be black or chrome. What's classier? What What's classier? What? Black, black. or chrome? Or chrome? Black. 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 Black, black, or shiny black? A flat. Black, black. Well, yeah. you know what? I'm not going to say that. Uh, it's. Uh, Either or. I like the color black, and you can have it in many ways. I have five different tones I use of black, from payment to uh, gloss black at all. And they're all, if I had a choice, it'd be shiny black or, or gloss black if it was. But I have various. And there's so many whites, too, when I do my banana ones. Just the white with Andy Warhol banana. You start uh, down in white. So you got to I screw up sometimes, and you know you got to use the exact same white you started with because I have various whites all over there. Um, so you got to get the white one from Snow White to Christmas White to Pure White, and once you do it, it'll flash once you seal it with Polly. And you go, oh, son of a bitch, in it. Yeah. Yeah. Well, so in other words, don't drink and paint, kids. Don't drink and paint. And don't match drink your and paint. Match your colors. And when you're starting to paint, elms aren't meant to be painted on, believe it or not. I don't usually but drink. Yellow it. and orange suck. You need multiple colors to get it right. And Jim Fisher said, some of your artwork out in Tennessee, and when I miss the one with the banana on it. So he's seen one of your banana records in Tennessee. So. Yeah. Thank oh, you. Not there. Mm-hmm. Um, so I, you know, I guess I guess we're gonna call it a night pretty soon here. Uh, I'll play the outro music. Anything last words you want to say for the people, Phil, before we let them go? Uh, peace, everybody, and have a great today's Monday. Have a great week. Uh, hope to see you at uh, Happy Tr Trails and Cottage Hills uh, this yeah. upcoming weekend, and multiple festivals um, coming up. Uh, Julia Big Bash to Sugar Creek Festival to Woco to uh, the Big Bash Prison, Blue Ox, Shoe Fest, Wise Jennings Fest, and many, many more. And uh, thanks for watching. Have a good dinner. Bye. Uh, hey, man. John, love the phone. I can hear you, but I you know, how'd you go? I know, you went off air. It's, it's, it's a on, job, so. All right, we got it. We can do whatever we want. I'm out of here. I'm going to uh, <laughs> the other side of the Phil Sean. So thank you for coming to the show. Love, peace. I don't want to ask you to, to, to close this out. I can't remember to play that. Out, outro music. <laughs> Bill and John show. Send me a dream. Thanks for the highlights. Thanks for. Oh, I'm gonna go back there and get some. There's so many highlights, Phil, and all the stuff you want. Say something funny tonight. I can't remember what it was. It was awesome. That's the list. I need that. Copied. Well, yes. Yeah. Memorize it. Okay. Oh, the intro music and outro music. Bill he never called the Bill and John Show. Yeah. Yeah. All right, John, I'm hungry. I want to make dinner. Your time. Yeah. Good dinner I'll talk to you soon, man, okay? All right, buddy. Let's go get him.